In this problem, we're told, in Major League Baseball, the pitcher's mound is 60 feet from the batter. If a pitcher throws a 95 mile per hour fastball, how much time elapses from when the ball leaves the pitcher's hand until the ball reaches the batter? So I'm going to draw an image of what's going on, and I recommend you do that for every physics problem. So imagine this is going to be our pitcher, and they're throwing this ball. And we know the pitcher's mound is going to be 60 feet, so this distance right here to the batter, right? This is going to be our batter. It's going to be 60 feet long. So, and then we also know the pitcher is going to be throwing the ball at 95 miles per hour. So 95 miles per hour. So now we have a drawing of what's going on. Uh, let's go ahead and actually solve it. So we're trying to find time, right? And we're given uh, a velocity and we're given a distance. So you should probably know this formula. It's that velocity equals distance over time. And if you don't know it, I recommend memorizing it. But keep in mind what we're trying to find here. We're trying to find time, right? How much time elapses? So we got to solve this equation for t and then plug in the other variables. So if we solve this equation for t, multiplying both sides by t, you're going to get tv equals d. And then what you can do is just divide both sides by v, and you'll get t is equal to d over v. So what we need to do is get the distance and divide it by uh, the velocity, and we'll get uh, time. So what we need to do first, though, is notice how this is in miles per hour. And if you look at the distance here, this is feet and this is miles. So what we need to do is change this into feet. And then I'm going to change the time into seconds. You could probably leave it in anything you want. But if you think about how fast this is going to take, right, throwing a baseball this far isn't going to take that long. So it's probably going to be less than a second. So I'm going to make sure to turn this into seconds. Or we're going to change this into feet per second. So how do we do that? So no, it's going to be 95 miles for every single one hour, correct? So what we need to do is get rid of the miles first. So what you need to know is how many feet are in each mile. So what you want to do is write mile on the bottom, right? Because one mile... And then you can see that this is going to cancel with this. And then we just need to write the number of feet per mile up top. So there's going to be 5,280 feet per mile. And that's just something you have to memorize. And now you see that these cancel and we'll just have feet on top, right? Because if you have 95 miles and multiply by the number of foot, uh, feet in each mile, you'll get it in feet. But now what we have to do is get rid of the hour. And the way we do that is just by taking it on top, right? So like last time we wrote it on the bottom, the mile on bottom, because it was on top right here. But now it's on the bottom, so we have to write it on top. So how many minutes are there for every single hour? So we know there's going to be 60 minutes in an hour, right? So that would get rid of the hour, but then we have it in feet per minute, but we want it in feet per second. So we got to get, get rid of minutes too. So for every one minute, there's going to be 60 seconds. So if you notice, the minutes will cancel now. And essentially, we'll just have 95 times 5,280 uh, times 1 over 60 times 1 over 60. So essentially, you just divide by 3,600 here, and then you're multiplying by 5,280 here. If you go ahead and do that, you're going to get that it equals 139 feet per second, right? Make sure you have the correct units, feet up top, uh, seconds on the bottom. So that's going to be our new uh, velocity, right? So that's what we're going to plug in down here. And so we have them in the correct units now, so all we have to do is plug in. So our time is going to be equal to the distance traveled, which is 60 feet, right? 60 feet over uh, our velocity, which is 139 feet per second. And so when you do this, these will cancel essentially. So your time uh, in, in seconds is just going to be 60 divided by 139, which if you do that, you're going to get 0.43 seconds. So this right here is going to be your answer. So how much time elapses is going to be 0.43 seconds. Hopefully you found this useful.